So this is the beginning of the solar hot water setup. And this is all wood the co-worker gave me. It is all free. It's not in the best shape, but I will use it rather than pay for something. Because I'm cheap. Um, even these nails that I'm coming out of here, I will reuse those if I can. The PEX tube I had to buy, 100 feet, it's $28 plus tax. They're not bad. You can see the chickens, they love watching what's going on. Okay, well, some of the wood I have is this dimensional lumber. I have enough of it. If I cut it down to 42, get rid of these bad ends and use as much of this as possible. So, because of that, I'm cutting this down to 42 and hopefully I can get all that text in here. I think I can from what I've seen online. Okay, get that all nailed up. Flip her over and put a couple of screws in the corners. Just for the heck of it. nails coming through the plywood. Alright, that was high temperature stove paint and I'm using a uh, furnace cement only because that's the only caulk and I have, but I'm going to caulk all my edges up. I think that's going to work. I think that's the key. All right, I think that's going to work. Just another 90 feet to go. So after even more cursing and swearing, <clears throat> this is what I've come up with. This overlap, but I'm not going back. I don't have enough zip ties. I took this PVC pipe, screwed it down the back and the 
front. I just have to unscrew it, put the pipe under there, screw it back down, move to the next one. I found I do still have to do the zip ties. I only have, I don't know, maybe more than half of it's already in here. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping. <laughs> but it's, it's kind of working. Yeah, it's kind of a pain, but I think if I do them one at a time like this. everything zip tied and held in and these will probably be the permanent solution to holding it in place. I'm glad I'm not trying to do this on a cold day. At least this pipe is a little bit warm from the sun, which we get some clouds, hopefully it rains. We need some water. Alright, let me get back at it. Well, it was kind of a fight, but I got it all in there. Plus about four feet hanging out of the holes. Except for that one spot, which I'm not getting that out of there now. It's too late. couple of coats of this and I do have a pump on order it's a 12 volt that's supposedly designed just for this kind of application so I'll get that in and uh, get some plexiglass for the top of it or some polycarbonate probably and yeah it looks like that furnace cement worked really well so it's all sealed up <clears throat> so I'll just have to get some plexiglass on tight top and get that pump and we'll try it out.